So how can you create this awesome click to listen interaction? Let's find out. Hey there, my name is Nate and I hope you're doing wonderful. If you have some trouble with your Storyline project or you need a thorough review, jump over to storyaudit.com and let's connect. Right, let's go to this uh, click to listen interaction and I've seen many bad uh, implementation of this in Storyline. So let me show you how a bad one would look. So here's our slide. Uh, when I click on this button, it opens sound one. And just to make it even worse, let's say, cause uh, this allow seeking thing doesn't always happen cause it's automatic. So let's set it to yes. So let's see what I think is a bad experience. So these things jump in. I click on interesting stuff. And you can click here the sound. Now what I li don't like about this is you're clicking here, but something else moves. And also the same seek bar as th that was used previously to show the slide, you know, in this, this was a short slide in our example here, but it could be like a one minute slide with a voiceover. Then when you click again on something, the same seek bar goes again over the, the over the, the thingy, the screen, which I think is not great. So we want to focus our attention here. When user clicks here, that we have a nice progress bar here and how we can tackle that and a bunch of little tips are gonna be shown along the way. So let's start it. So first thing we're gonna say this, allow seeking, no, do not seek. That's something we're gonna do customly. Customly, that's now a word. Okay, now I'm gonna use this button here because I want the same shape to go over the button. So I'm just gonna copy paste here. And I'm gonna go under states and remove hover. I'm gonna remove the text. And now I'm gonna jump in the format shape and fill I'm going to set it to white and 80%. Okay. And now we're going to have a, our own wipe animation that has to be long. We can check here like 8.5 seconds. Let's say it's something like that. Okay. Now that's the quick version and let's just preview and see how this looks. Okay, like that, sig bar completes. It's a nice effect, works. Here's the problem. When I was hovering over it, the hover effect was still there, so we want to disable that. And now, before we do that, two more extra tips. Here, when you have the wipe animation, I set it to 8.5 because that's the length of the video duration of the audio here. However, however, you can set it to 59. Just go all the way there. And now because your timeline, your layer timeline is shorter, it will adjust to the duration of the timeline. So you have, if you have more of these slides, you just set it to the longest possible, which is 59 seconds, and then just keep changing your sound and uh, wipe animation will always be the perfect duration. Bam! Tip number one. Now number two. When I was selecting this white color here, I was selecting it with a purpose. So the purpose was my font color is white, which means now because this is also white and although it's like 80% transparency, when it goes over, it almost feels like it goes behind because it's the same color and uh, it doesn't interfere with the font like with the letters at all because it's the same color because if you put 20% white over 100% white guess what you get white so that's the tip usually we have white and black text so if you would have a uh, black um, text here i would go with black say maybe I don't know, maybe it's a different, uh, no, it's still 80%, yeah, around 80%. And you would do the same white, but here I'm picking white because I have the white text. So that's the next tip. 
and of course at the end we don't want the hover to work anymore so we're gonna do the old hotspot thing and now we're gonna say but I always use the invisible shape not the hotspot and my answer is hotspots are great because you as a developer can see them you see they are there if it's an invisible object you keep you keep clicking it you don't know where it is you know you have to hunt it in the uh, in the timeline here so just use the hotspot and this setting here show hand cursor on hover this does not apply if there is no trigger and in our case there are no triggers you put the hotspot there you go get grab a coffee and you're golden so this is all now set uh, at the end of the timeline this layer hides uh, we're gonna, we can do the delete this old trigger so at the end of the time when this layer hides so you know user can click again and if you have more layers more sounds you know whenever user selects the sound the next layer will open which means because you have this setting hide other slide layers other sounds will stop and this one will start will start, will start playing if I can say these words and which also means you don't need to have any triggers to stop and play audio and so on and so on so the easiest way is just to put it in triggers you're done now let's preview again because this is now should be glorious there you go so this concludes our video for today if you would like to support me you can buy me coffee there's some link down below i would greatly appreciate it and have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video next time something like that <laughs>